Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. Welcome to chapter 3, Differentiation of Exponential, Logarithmic and Trigonometric Functions. Subtopic 3.4, Differentiate Function Involving Trigo, Exponential and Log Function. Part 2. So let's look at our learning outcome. So our learning outcome is Differentiate Function Involving Trigo, Exponential and Log Function, which means involving those three functions that you have learned before. So let's look at our first example, which is example 11. Example 11 according to your notes. Okay, the question given are fx equals to exponential power negative 3x times cos 3x. So in this question, they are combining 3 go with exponential. Okay, so first thing first, how to solve? You look at the question. So right now, they are giving you two things that are multiplied together. And they want you to find the derivative of that thing. Okay, as you have learned in chapter 2, when they want you to find the derivative of two things that multiply together, we can let exponential negative 3x as u and cos 3x as v. So automatically, automatically you can, automatically you can use product rule. Alright, so you have learned product rule. So first thing first, you need to find the u, u prime, v, v prime. So in this case, alright, so I I wrote down the calculation directly into the formula. So our u here is exponential negative 3x. Our v, v prime here is derivative of cos 3x as used for the missing bracket. And then plus with our v cos 3x multiply with derivative of exponential negative 3x which is u prime all right so next step you need to solve solve the differentiation here so derivative here so copy back exponential negative 3x and then the differentiate cos 3x you need to use chain rule so you can pause the video and give it a try do you get the same answer as my so the answer will be negative 3 sine 3x okay and then plus cos 3x derivative of exponential negative 3x di differentiate the power first all right so we shade negative 3x we get negative 3 copy back the exponential function all right so are we done yet no we can still simplify as you can see we can factor out negative 3 and we can also factor out exponential negative 3x here. Okay, the common factor. So negative 3 times exponential negative 3x. And then what we left are sine 3x plus cos 3x. Okay, you can expand back the equation to get the equation here. Right, you can... You can Expand back the bracket if you want to to check whether it's correct or not. Okay, so the example 11a. Next, we move on to example 11b. So we are given a function in the form of u over v. Okay, it's still the same thing combining exponential function with trigo. So now you need to recap back. So if you want to find derivative of two things that I divide. So u over v, we can use what kind of formula? Use quotient rule. Alright, so the formula for quotient rule are, I write it down for you. So it's v u prime minus u v prime over v square. Okay, so this is the formula. Alright, then next, just substitute into the formula. You know your v, you know your u, and then just substitute as I stated here. Alright, and then over here, down here, the, the denominator is cos x square. Excuse the missing bracket. Okay, and then the next step, alright. So as you can see here, this is our v, this is our u prime minus our u. This is v prime and v square, over v square. So next, I find the value of derivative of exponential tangent x. I will get exponential tangent x times secant square x. Alright, 
Excuse for the missing bracket. Here we have a bracket. All right, same as here. Differentiate cos x, we get negative sin x. So these two multiply together. And also the bracket on the denominator. All right. So we need to solve and simplify the next step. All right. So you can delete this. It's a mistake here. It's supposed to be multiply. Okay, as you can see here, I factor out exponential tangent x outside. Okay, for the first part. Because I can simplify cos x with secant square x. Why? We know that secant square x is 1 over cos square x. So I can simplify this too and I will get 1 over cos x. Alright? And then the second part here, I multiply the negative sign here so I get positive. So it will become exponential tangent x times sine x. And below is still cos square x. Alright? So next, so the the answer here will become 1 over secant x. It 1 over 1 over cos x. So it becomes secant x. Right? So now, okay, as you can see here, missing bracket. Okay, I want you to guess where should I put the bracket? Alright, as you can see here, on the denominator, we have exponential tangent x. This is also have ex, uh, exponential tangent x. So actually, we can factorize, factorize it out. So we get the we put the bracket here. Exponential tangent x multiply with secant x plus sine x. And the de denominator is still remain the same. And then can we still simplify this equation? Yes, we can. How? So look here, cos square x. We can simplify into. So we can simplify into exponential tangent x multiply with secant x plus sine x multiply with secant square x all right so that is our answer for example 11 b so let's move on to the next example example 12 a so we are given a combination of trigonometric and also log logarithmic function okay so first thing first how can we solve it okay let's look at the question first okay they're giving it one over three is a constant so no big deal right so we have cos and inside cos we have ln two over t so here is our fx you have learned before all right in the subtopic subtopic trigonometry so you can use chain rule or power rule to solve this all right so i will use chain rule okay use the chain rule so our y will be 1 over 3 cos u so our dy du is negative 1 over 3 sine u all right so next our u is ln 2 over t so our du dt will be 1 over 2 over 3 2 over t times with negative 2 over t square. So I can simplify all this. It will become negative 1 over t. Okay. I want you to pause the video and try by yourself. Do you get the answer same as me? Negative 1 over t. Alright. So how do I get this formula? It comes from the logarithmic function subtopic whereby if you differentiate ln fx you will get 1 over fx times with derivative of fx so this is what we are doing here so 1 over 2t times with negative 2 over t squared i differentiate 2 over t so this is i get all right so next step use our chain rule our formula dy du times du dt and then I already substitute it for u. So substitute dy du into the formula. We get negative 1 over 3 sine u multiply with negative 1 over t here du dt. Alright. And the next the next step is to simplify. But don't forget here we have u. You need to substitute x back into the equation. So you will get 
negative 1 over 3 sine ln 2 over t times negative 1 over t. So we still need to simplify the negative 1 over t here. So we will get, we bring 1 over negative 1 over t to the front, cancel out negative, so we get 1 over 3, th 3 t times sine ln 2 over t. So that is the answer for example 12a. So let's look at example 12b. The question is y equals to ln in bracket cos 2t minus 2 sin 2t. Okay, first thing first, I want you to do a correction on your notes. It's supposed to be cos 2t minus sin 2t. There is no 2 here. Alright, so please do your correction on your notes. Right. so first thing first. Okay, now it's combining log with trigo. So how to solve? Now you know they're giving you log. Inside the log, we have function trigonometry. Alright, so basically you need to know, uh, you need to really master these three formula. For these three formula to find derivative for log, exponential and trigo. So in this case, we need to use log formula. Alright, so first thing first. Okay, if you want to find dy dt, here is what the formula we use. Alright. So, how do I get 1 over cos 2t minus sin 2t? And then I multiply with derivative of the function here. Okay. I get it from the formula. So, as I shown in 12a, so the formula to find derivative of uh, log is, you differentiate ln, okay, fx, you will get 1 over fx multiply with f prime. So here our fx is cos 2t minus sin 2t. So that's why 1 over cos 2t minus sin 2t. This is our fx. And then time with the f prime. So this is our f prime. It's come from the formula. And then you just solve the f prime. So you differentiate cos 2t minus sin 2t, you will get negative 2 sin 2t negative 2 sin 2t minus 2 cos 2t. So the denominator, we doesn't, uh, we doesn't touch it, right? So next, okay, we need to simplify. So I factor out negative 2 here. So I get negative 2 times sin 2t plus cos 2t. So that is the answer for example 12b. Very simple. Alright, so, oh yes, still not finished yet, sorry. So, because now we have, uh, we have factored out negative 2, actually we can also factor out the negative sign here because we can make it even. So, sine 2t plus cos 2t, we can change the denominator as sine 2t minus cos 2t. Okay, and the negative sign here will, will cancel out. Alright, so we get this is the final answer. Okay, this one I changed to this by factor up the negative. So, I got negative sine 2t minus cos 2t. And then the negative sign here cancel out with this negative sign. Alright. So, here is your exercise 3.4. You can screenshot uh, this. You can screenshot the video. Okay, you can screenshot this page. And then... Uh, do the exercise. Thank you so much for your attention. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.